Am I the asshole? For leaving a birthday party because I couldn't eat my food inside? My friend group had a surprise party for one of our friends last night. Kim offered to host the party at her house and make the food for it, the rest of us would just show up right after getting off work to decorate and set up. Kim is vegan which is fine and dandy, the only problem is I have a soy allergy. Kim knows about this. I never expect her to go out of her way to alter what she makes for my sake, there's just an agreement between us that it's not very often I can eat what she makes because she uses a lot of soy based condiments and substitutes. However, since this was a party taking place after work and was supposed to last a while, I asked Kim if she could hold off on certain legumes and the like in at least one thing she makes so I could eat while at the party. She said she would try. A couple hours later I started getting a bunch of texts asking why I had left so early in the night. I said it was because I was hungry, but some of our friends kept pushing because they had seen me come inside with my pack after saying I was grabbing food so I was honest with them that it was because Kim told me to go eat in my car. Some of our friends are split now and think Kim should have been willing to be flexible since it was at night and really cold outside, and others are siding with her. Kim is just mad and thinks I started drama on purpose. Am I the asshole? For leaving after she told me to eat in my car? Not the asshole. She, the vegan who wants you to eat outside because she wants her rules followed can't be bothered to remember which bowl has soy. I would have left too. Not the asshole. I understand not wanting non-vegan foods in her home. But Kim isn't a good host or a good friend. You remained tactful and tried to save face for Kim, but she shot herself in the foot by brushing you off without a second thought. Not the asshole. Kim was incredibly inconsiderate here in several ways only having mashed potatoes for you in the first place, not paying enough attention to keep track of the one thing you could eat, and placing her dietary choice over your allergy and asking you to eat outside, even though the only reason you were eating your food in her house was because of her fuck up. The entire situation is on her. She does not sound like a good friend, a good host, or a good person. Not the asshole. Your friend sucks. Like, this is beyond messed up. She wanted you to starve or go eat in a cold car just so she didn't have to put in some extra work and I'm willing to bet she doesn't believe you actually have a soy allergy. You brought your own food you did everything to try and accommodate and honestly you eating a little bit of mayo should not mess with her. How does she function in life if she's going to be this strict with what other people eat? Not the asshole and she is one of the reasons that vegans have such a bad rep. It's not rocket science to prepare at least one dish that you can eat and to remember which dish that was. You know. Put a post-it on it. Put a purple spoon. Something. Or, you know, make everything with almond milk instead of soy milk for one night. Not the asshole, and ain't it funny how there are entire cultures that practice part-time veganism and somehow manage not to include any soy? Come on over to my place and I'll fix you my kick-ass vegan chili and a stack of tortillas. Or my black-eyed peas delicious and a pot of rice. Or my raise the dead split pea soup so called because when you feel like death and nothing is appealing you can still enjoy it and whole wheat bread. I am happily omnivorous and I got this figured as her excuse. Not the asshole. Kim is a poor hostess. She didn't have food you could eat, didn't even try to ensure she knew what potatoes were free from soy. Vegans shouldn't throw parties at home if they have strict vegan households. That's really immature to ignore a guest's food allergy and force them to eat in a dark, cold car. She's the problem and she has bad manners. Not the asshole. Being vegan is a choice, being allergic to soy is not. She shouldn't expect any guest to either go hungry or eat outside because they're eating something she doesn't agree with. You're not contaminating her food. Also, she couldn't even be bothered to remember which of the mashed potatoes could harm you. What a gal. Not the asshole her diet is a choice. Your alternative meal was a necessity. If it was that important to her she would have made sure you could eat something other than crudite. Not the asshole. 
Eating inside was not contaminating any of her food or items in the home. Not the asshole she knows you have a soy allergy and she made one thing you could eat, if you were okay with the 50 odds of ending up eating the allergen containing option. Then, instead of feeling bad for her mistake that left you without anything to eat, she told you to go eat your own food in your car. She was hell of rude and the type to give the Egans a bad reputation. Not the asshole, as someone who also has a soy allergy, and a peanut one. And tree nuts. I would have also left if I wasn't allowed to eat my safe food inside with the others. Soy allergies are a nightmare because soy is in so many things, question do you also react to soy lecithin? I find that bitch in everything and it's the one I react to most. Not the asshole but your friend really needs to do some research on being a good host. Not the asshole. It's not that hard to make vegan food without soy and any good host would have made sure there was some stuff you could eat. Not the asshole. You did the right thing by bringing your own food. And leaving when you did was a reasonable boundary. It doesn't seem like you're the one causing the drama in this situation. Info how is you leaving early any more disruptive more dramatic than you disappearing for half an hour or vanishing every ten minutes to eat outside in the cold? Not the asshole. Kim's a terrible hostess. All she offered you were mashed potatoes and raw vegetables? That's bull. And why didn't she make completely vegan soy-free mashed potatoes? I make them with olive oil and garlic broth plus more garlic and fresh herbs. It is super weird that someone who must have to ask for a lot of accommodations for their food preferences was so inconsiderate when you asked her to accommodate yours. It is also weird that she wouldn't even let you eat your food in the house. It's not like you were prepping it on her counter. You are not the asshole for leaving. Imagine if the same thing would have happened in reverse to her. Would she have stayed? Not the asshole. Kim came over to me and said she could smell the mayo. Her life must be miserable if she is offended by the smell of mayo. I would never step across her threshold again. Kim is not your friend. She is an entitled, ableist brat who thinks her preferences are more important than your medical disability. Cut her off and anyone who thinks she's in the right, because you're at very high risk of being intentionally poisoned the next time you see these people. I certainly would never trust anyone who thinks this isn't a big deal to not try to teach you a lesson. Kim already tried to feed you unsafe food. Also, soy allergies so ooh 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 I'm sorry. That shit is in everything. Not the asshole. Kim is vegan by choice and privilege, but OP has dietary concerns by necessity. It was an R move to make OP eat in their car and I don't blame them for just leaving and being made to feel that unwelcome. Info how often does Kim expect to have her vegan restrictions accommodated? Not the asshole why this has to be some sort of group drama is beyond me. She didn't want the food in the house and you didn't want to eat in freezing weather. No need for any drama here.